okay, I'm this is <laughs> I'm gonna try to do this um where, you know, I guess you guys could understand it. Um and this is gonna be my I guess you can say my first uh how to video. Um, but anyway, let me see, uh, and excuse the mess, <laughs> I, I didn't have time to really, um, uh, you know, clean up anything, but, uh, let me, um, let me see right quick, <laughs> right here, <clears throat> this is my, I just purchased this, this is my, and I forgot the name already, <laughs> but you guys can see it, um, Vixia, I guess, FHW10 camcorder, and one thing that's good about it, uh, which I like about it, is, is, I don't know if you can say waterproof, I guess, you know, it says waterproof, shockproof, and then it shows you uh, 5 meters or 16.4 feet, which I haven't really, tr you know, tried it or anything, but um, I like it because at least if it's bad weather, raining or snowing, I wouldn't say a downpour, but um, even if it's a steady, a steady drizzle, <laughs> I, I won't have to worry about you know my the camera malfunctioning. So that's one of the re main reason why I purchased it. But um, I guess maybe some of you are having issues. I know I was having issues with trying to figure out how to get the file my um, video files downloaded to my computer. So I've been struggling with this um, for the most part of two days, <laughs> trying to figure this out. The cam, the camcorder that I'm using now, um, <coughs> excuse me, this is um, same thing Vixia, but this is a um, HF 880 HD, and when I, obviously when I I'm ready to upload my videos either from straight from the camera or from the or the vid the camcorder straight from the camcorder or the card I can see the videos right away not no no issue no problem but since I purchased my new camcorder I, I it's like where where are my videos you know so I but I'm this this is still a work in progress I'm still trying I'm still try to <coughs> excuse me figure out if I can, if I need to um, record my videos in a different format, because usually they're in this folder. But as you can see, it says Canon, this is item. The only thing that's in there now is a um, uh, photo file, photo image, a JPEG. And that's the only thing that's that's visible. There, are, none of my video has shown up. That's usually where it is. It would be in in that same folder. But instead, <clears throat> this video records images in this format. Um, they call it um, VCHD. Which the, if you open up, if you download the full instructions for the camera, they explain this too. Uh, to edit the files, use a software that supports AVC HD video files when removing this unit um, okay uh, let me see up here at the top it says um, <coughs> um, it talks about let me see let me show whoop, too much um, here it says um, let me see if I can line it up HTS files that are not copied to a Mac computer cannot be imported to iMovie. To use MTS files with iMovie, import the files using iMovie. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Um, then it says here, to e edit view the files, use a software that supports AVC HD video files. Okay. <clears throat> so, you know, I'm thinking, oh, I can't, you know, well, do I need to download another uh, program or you know what I need to do um so I've been struggling with this you know going online trying to figure out you know how, how to do this 
but um, I just came across this um, this file here this this file AVCHD file appears so what do we do well what I did was I just double clicked it <clears throat> so here's here's one of the here's one of the what oh it's one of my files but I just uh, I just uh, changed this or saved it to my desktop but this is the thing you double click on it hopefully everyone you know yours is working the same way you double click on it and open it. and so the 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 files the video files that I recorded appear sorry for the glare I have my light on in, in the <clears throat> behind me <clears throat> so anyway the files appear so what I did was you can't just click on the file and it opens up it it it, it shows in this format so say I, you want to you want to you know access your your file your your video so you just click on it and then you click on okay at the bottom here the the folder <laughs> the folder disappears but the, your file opens up and then from this point on, let's make it a little smaller. From this point on, I simply go to my save. It, you know, it opens up in a QuickTime player. So you simply go up to your, your um, save. Click on that. <clears throat> the save window opens up. I already saved two of these already, so I'm going to uh, call this um zero two i mean zero three i can you know rename it later to something else and i'm just saving it to my desktop so you 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 know whatever uh and it saves in the the um, mov format so i click click save and it goes through this process take two minutes it's a large it's a large format <clears throat> but I don't know you know and it's which is great um, and it's interesting how they they formatted this file <laughs> but it's just like I said it all of a sudden I couldn't figure out how to how to access my video so I started fooling around and, and I was able to get get this working at least this is working but now I'm going to try to do some more research to see if I if I can uh, um, you know take the video in another format that's easier easy easily accessible, or will I have to just continue doing it this way? Which is interesting that all the videos that I shot are in one folder. I mean one file <laughs> compressed to one file, so you just have to open up the one file. And then um, go through the process that I just did, and then you just have to rename each uh, individual file separately. So the process is done, and so you'll see the file um, right here that I, that that I just saved. So this how this is how it seems to be working right now so if you're if you purchase this new camcorder and you're struggling at least this is how you know I this is I'm on a iMac so I'm thinking this is how you can do it for Apple I'm not sure what it is for Windows I'm guessing it might be similar or you know the um, MOV file is a is a Mac based file so uh, for Windows you might have to do something different or maybe it, it'll open up in this this format um, and then you can work from it from there I'm not sure what for Windows but this is what I'm doing for Mac so if you're looking at this video I hope it's helping you uh, at least you can access your your videos and um, you can use them <laughs> don't panic the re the video the camera w was working but it's just you know if you're not used to this format which I'm not I wasn't used to I like I said I'm trying to I was trying to figure this out but it seems to work um, 
So you close this out and then you can access like the the file oops the file that I just created. You you know you double click on it to open it. And uh it just pops open. And it should work. So I'm gonna start it first. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a gamer and this is this is um I was gaming doing a re uh, recording two recordings so I'm just now finding out to do it uh, how to how to do how to access these video files too late to um you know redo my videos again but it's all right but um I hope um I hope this helps <clears throat> um so <laughs> um this is a quick tutorial uh quick how to nothing fancy just you know throwing it throwing it in there and and hopefully you guys can understood understand what i'm saying if you have any questions obviously you can put them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer um your questions <clears throat> but um that's you know how i did it and how it is working for me <laughs> if you had this this type of uh if you just purchased this type of camcorder Okay, so I'll sign off for now. Uh, I hope, yeah, I hope, yeah, like I said, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and you guys take care.